Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the full process of how I made this artwork of Mume from Hololive. So stick around! So first off is the sketch. Um, since the head is going to be a straight on view, I usually um, draw half a head then mirror it, how I've always done it. I draw guidelines for this because one, I don't think you should ever stop drawing guidelines whenever you're making character art. Um, it just makes it, the process a whole lot easier. I had trouble deciding on what I wanted to do with the hands because I did want to show the hands, but at the same time I was admittedly being a bit lazy. I made sure to put all the layers into a folder so I'm able to maneuver it and kind of change the composition on the fly. I then start drawing the dress. Um, I wanted something that was sexy while at the same time kind of elegant. Usually whenever I'm working on a sketch, I, I don't have a character in mind that I want to draw. I usually draw a base first, then decide on a character later. So the hair was once again kind of tricky. Like I said, I, I struggle with hair. Um, I, I would like to say that I'm okay at it, but it's just, it's rough. I then start adding some base colors to the sketch to kind of get a good concept done. Um, this may not be how you do it because I technically have to do it because I can't really see things in my head. So I have to plan on the fly. I then add a multiply layer to start light carving to figure out what I want to do with the lighting. Light carving is basically a uh, technique that you use whenever you want to plan a light source. You basically add a multiply layer on top of the colors and then you use an eraser to carve out the light. So I wanted the light direction to come from the right of her and kind of shine through the wings and onto the body. So the head would be casting a little bit of a shadow and so would the wings. I did kind of um, use the rule of cool. The wings should technically be covering up most of the light on the character, but I wanted it to uh, look cool, so I ignored that fact. I then changed the uh, the wings and the dress from white to black because I thought it made the character stand out more, especially the skin since the skin and the lighting is the main focus. And then it was time to start the line art. Again using the mirror technique to um, get the perfect head. So it usually takes me a bit to get the eyes right, because um, I'm not I'm not really perfect at drawing eyes, even though I really enjoy drawing them. So it takes a few times for me to get it right. So whenever I draw the hair, or any of the lines in general, I try to make sure the thickness is varied. I manually add thickness. Some people use pen sensitivity to do it, but I like to draw it in on purpose. That way I have like full control over how thick lines are. By doing this, it helps me add more depth. Um, and it's good to draw hair. Um, after you've drawn the sketch, just uh, be a bit more free and mindful of what you're doing. Um, whenever I do it, I usually um, say, how can I improve what I already have down? And how can I make it look much smoother? And it takes a few tries. You'll see I erase it at times. I undo a lot and I redraw. But in the end, it tends to turn out pretty good. 
I like to draw hair dangling off the character's shoulder because it just adds a flow that's so beautiful. And you have to really think of things like in 3D and form. Um, with the breast, I definitely um, try to add weight. Um, a lot of people get weight wrong when they draw breasts, but the way you need to think about it is almost water balloons tied together on a string and then wrapped around the neck and let them dangle. And then imagine the form coming over the objects it's on. Also, don't forget to have a good reference while you work. It's definitely the best thing to do. I did it too. I had a pretty good reference. Um, also, I noticed that I placed the belly button wrong whenever I first did it, so I, I'm glad I ended up fixing that in the final product. Drawing hair draping over um, the floor and kind of sprawling out is still something that I'm learning how to do. I'm getting better at it, but I don't think I'm fully there yet. If You'll also notice I changed her expression just to something a bit more uh, innocent, even though it's clear that the character isn't innocent because if you saw through the sketch, there's a little bit of blood. So who did she kill? Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I actually forgot to erase the lines that the um, that the dress is going over in the final product. So if you actually look at the final product, you'll notice that the belly button and all that is still there. And I had already posted it, so it was too late. So that kind of sucked. I now start adding the base colors to the line art, and we are going to start the rendering here very soon. I use um, the fill tool for most of this, and then if there are any gaps, I use the G pen to fill it up. Um, really nothing too complicated about adding base colors. Different people have different ways they do it, I just kind of do it manually. I also use the hue and saturation to adjust the hair color to what I want. You can open that up quickly by hitting Control u so I started with the hair. I usually don't start with the hair. I usually start with the skin, but this time I did start with the hair. Um, I uh, once again light carved by adding a multiply layer and then erasing to get the light source. Try to focus and remember where the light is coming from. That's what I do. I try to always think of the light source at all times. Um, that can be a bit difficult, but it definitely helps. I then add um, some shines in the hair. Now we are light carving with the uh, skin, using a multiply layer as well. And to do the breast is a little bit different. I actually, uh, you'll see here pretty soon. Oh, well, yeah, there I go, rotating the canvas. Do that, do that a lot. It really helped. Um, you see the green is the selection pen. The selection pen allows you to only work on the area that is selected. I would definitely recommend doing that with things like breasts or like whenever you want a soft edge. Um, I Again, I use G-Pen for everything here. For the breasts I do uh, to add the initial softness, I will be uh, using an airbrush, but that's just to create the form of the character. Now we start adding the shading to the dress. I'll be the first to admit I was a little bit lazy here. Um, I kind of just carved it out and was like, all right, I'm done, whatever. But in hindsight, I probably should have taken more time. I then added a texture on top because I wanted the like cup area of the breast to have like a lace-like effect to them. Now I'm starting to shade the uh, the wings, and I'm just using a fill bucket for this. Nothing fancy. I then start adding. Um... Oh goodness, what did I start to add here? Okay, I was just organizing. And I'm currently looking for a certain layer. I started adding some post-processing.
I'm gonna make a whole video on post processing, so don't worry too much. I then add a blue haze to separate the wings from the character to make it look nicer. I then add some chromatic abrasion. And that's how I made this Mume artwork. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a, leave a like. And thank you very much. Bye.